Hey guys, Carl here from Retro32. Uh, just putting this little video together showing you how to install the Amiga 600 RGB to HDMI adapters. So, um, straight off the bat, here we go. So, first thing first, we're going to pop the cherry on this lovely eBay Amiga 600, which we recently received, who will be uh, receiving the adapter board. And here we go, we've got our lovely Retro32 RGB to HDMI adapters. And here is our Amiga 600 motherboard. Now the adapter itself will slide on top of the Denise chip, um, making the installation pretty pretty damn easy. To be honest with you, um, we would recommend that maybe um, you should try and just um, get some IPA and clean the top of the uh, the pins on your Denise chip, just to make sure that there's no tarnish or anything that might interrupt uh, the connection. Um, so once you've done that. All you need to do is simply pop the adapter board over the Denise chip, like so. Um, obviously we can't do that one handed. Um, now we would recommend that you install the board first and don't put the Pi on because you can't really get enough force behind uh, the uh, application of the board. Um, you don't want to force it too hard but it, you need to be um, quite firm with it. Um, once you've done that we need to pop on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, I would recommend you just make sure that you line the pins up correctly otherwise you could end up with a dead board. Um, so if you, if you need to you can actually hold the board with your finger um, just to support it so that put, when you put the Raspberry Pi on it won't knock the um, adapter off. Um, once you're done there you can pop in your mini HDMI cable like so and you can switch the Amiga on. Uh, once it comes to life you get a little flash and there we go as you can see HDMI from our Amiga. Now I do have a uh, OSSC connected to the machine as well so we're just flicking between the two display inputs here with our little remote control and as you can see it's pretty pretty damn good um, and we're really quite impressed with the um, the color accuracy on those so um, yeah overall nice solution and, and relatively easy especially when you compare it to the Amiga 500 RGB to HDMI adapter installation um, these are available from our website um, you can check them out at www.retro32.com um, we've got these and lots of other goodies for your um, Amigas um, and other retro consoles um, so please check them out um, again I must stress how careful you do need to be when installing this adapter um, if you get it wrong um, you could damage the Raspberry Pi um, the adapter board itself or, or God forbid the, the actual Amiga um, so yeah just take it steady um, if you've got any questions please leave us a, a comment below um, and yeah enjoy and cheers <laughs> 